Welcome back to the Care Handle Podcast. My name is Bryce, and with me, as always, is Kevin. Hello. Hello, Kevin. Are we doing a short-barreled episode? Uh, like my IQ, yes. You're... Okay. You know what? I'm going to roll with it. That's fine. So, we're going to talk about me doing things and then totally forgetting about it, right? <laughs> Maybe you're the one that has the short barrel and IQ. <laughs> I think so. So, I, right before we started recording for the 15th time, Kevin and, I were t- Kevin and I were talking, and I got an email, and it said, your order is confirmed, waiting for fulfillment. Or Order of what? Uh, apparently... <laughs> Bryce at some point six months ago decided I would buy some magazines. Oh, for, oh, for for what weapon platform? Because I know you have a, a few that we can't mention in this episode as a challenge to you. As a challenge to me. I'm also excluding Eugene Stoner made <laughs> weapon platforms as well. Oh, man. And you know what? I thought I could get by with something, but then nope. I remembered it was a joint design. So it doesn't. Unfortunately. That sucks. Boo. Boo. Well, apparently a number of months ago, I bought some magazines for a rifle that I don't own. And it all started, this story starts many moons ago and over a year ago? Bryce was a wee lad. A wee lad of 29 years, 28 years old. 29, I'm 29. You're I'm talking at, about you. Oh, you're the yes. one that bought the AK, not me. Yeah, well, you're the one that told me to buy the AK. So I got Kevin to buy an AK. It was a slight nudge. He was probably going to get one anyway. I kind of really wanted one, and Bryce used that to his advantage to find an AK. I did. I did. So I got him to get a Riley defense because up until that point, I had heard they're decent rifles. <laughs> we have learned. We have learned since then that this is not, in fact, the case. <laughs> well, why don't we just go down the list of problems? And then oh, we'll... the, the, you know what? You you can start with that list, buddy. It, it's all well, you. My wonderfully crafted triangle folding stock. Ooh, beautiful. Cracked right at the best possible place. So how those welds hold up? Oh man, they <laughs> held up good. They the held up best. Like <laughs> balsa wood under tension. So it started with this stock. And then he left me his his guns because he was going on a trip. And my and favorite he, rocket with, ship. <laughs> with the strict instruction to not tinker. So I, I started it, tinkering. <laughs> I sent it multiple it's, times. I tested just... it like eight times. I emailed it twice. <laughs> and I, I, left two, I left two voice messages and I mailed him two letters. I, I started sending him ransom style pictures. <laughs> and I was just, I was furious. I was so far away that I was... Mm, so it turned I, out well I, 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 the express purpose of me doing this was to replace the stock. And then I started noticing that the all the furniture basically rattled. Now, AKs rattle. That's fine. But this was to the point where the handguards you could just take off. <laughs> the, retaining, I mean, the retaining cups were just loose. You could just basically pull your handguards off. So I adjusted the tension and I actually mounted them correctly. And now they're not as bad. And then also sometimes, you know, sort of primers pop and then they end up in the firing pin channel. So that's fun. Locking up the firing pin to where you can't shoot it. But it only seems to do that when I shoot it. it, Just because it turned into a bolt action and into a non-action doesn't mean anything. It was like bang, rack, 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 bang, rack, 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 oh. rack, rack, bang. <laughs> well, eventually it was more like Kevin takes off dust cover, bang, pulls the hammer back manually like a man, <laughs> and just kept doing it until something happened. And it see, so all the there were four or five uh, primers. Five. There were five primers. Yeah, I have a picture of that somewhere. There were five yeah. primers stuck in the firing pin channel, and it basically locked it up to where the firing pin couldn't float. Yeah. And it was just sticking out. So I'm surprised it didn't, like, slam fire and just go full oh, auto. Well, because of legal reasons, this is a joke. It may <laughs> have was um, doing that. And oh, I sweet. Just wrote it off as a um, happy accident. 
a happy at, accident. At the best local, kind of accident. At, at, at my local gun range, I, I specifically said it's broken to make sure nobody recorded me saying I have a <laughs> uh, unfiled um transferable or or uh, pre post sample. <laughs> yeah. So he gets this AK and it's an absolute shit show. Does that deter me from wanting an AK? Absolutely not. All it does is solidify that they're just a fun rifle. It's like well, if you're now if you're a car guy, some car guys think that you should own an Alfa Romeo because eventually it's going to break and it adds character to the car. Or and it's like a Honda Civic. You think you're getting a good deal on it. But in the end it just has a blown head gasket that you have to put that together. <laughs> so he gets the AK-103. That is one of my favorite AKs of all time. I like it. It's a, it's, they're great. I love them. They're really cool. The only thing I'm not crazy about is those muzzle brakes. I'm not a muzzle brake guy. Hey, I like throwing fire in people's faces on my own. <laughs> okay? I want to light your cigar. That's with with the video. muzzle blast off the AK. That is a future video coming to you soon. Oh, yeah, I like your cigar love it. with my AK. <laughs> oh, God. So AK-103 is definitely something I wanted. He got one, and I wanted one more. So at some point in the past, about six or seven months ago, and I can't be sure there wasn't drinking, although normally my wife's pretty good about putting a stop to that kind of nonsense. Oh, uh, red, yeah. So, at some point, six or seven months ago, I decided it would be a great... Hold on. At some point, six or seven months ago, drunk slash or sober Bryce decided it'd be a great idea to buy some magazines for a gun that I don't own. What could possibly go wrong? So, long story short, I now have eight AK magazines coming to me. Three or uh, six thirty round Bulgarian steel line slab side polymer mags and oh, two forty yeah. rounders. Oh yes, finally. <laughs> now what that leaves is the need and desire for an actual rifle for these magazines to go with, and that leads me to the AK one hundred four. I love the AK one hundred series rifles; they're my favorite favorite Kalashnikovs, with the exception of an AKM with a dong grip. And if you don't know what that is, Go and open up an internet safe or er, browser incognito mode and look up Romanian dong. Don't put AK. <laughs> I don't know why you're setting our viewers up for 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 absolute failure. But for our <laughs> listeners out there, please do it at school. <laughs> Definitely do it at school. And do it at your work. local high school. And or work. Or maybe probably don't do that. So the Romanian dong a or grip is basically a vertical grip, and the first time I've ever seen it is on the AMD 65. It's a Romanian pattern AK with a crazy muzzle brake oh, and yeah, a really yes. interesting wire stock. Oh, he had a Dixon to your... Yeah. So yeah. The, the reason it's called a dong grip is because it's kind of vulgar looking, <laughs> but it's a very iconic look for AKs, and I fell in love with them when I first saw them on a game, Medal of Honor, Warfighter, or no, Medal, Medal of Honor, not not Warfighter, God, no, Medal of Honor. I don't Wasn't remember, that, it, was, it was a was modern, like, it was yeah, a modern yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, that was made by um, SF guys, actually put their input into No, that, that, that was Warfighter, Warfighter oh, was that, I thought, yeah. I thought, and that was the first one. Yeah, maybe it was both, I don't know. Either way. That was the first time I ever saw one. That was the early 2000s, and I had never seen one of those early before. Early 2000s? What the fuck are you talking about? Medal of Honor? Medal of Honor. Honor. Game. 2006? Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, what Warfighter was the one. Yeah, just Medal of Honor. Oh yeah, twenty ten. Twenty no, two thousand ten. Oh, ten. Yeah, so, Warfighter was two thousand twelve, and that was the one Larry Vickers helped out with. Okay. Which is also coincidentally the one that killed the franchise. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Well, I think they were up against really stiff competition. Yeah, it was. They tried to make a Call of Duty game, and it didn't really work. 
Nobody can make Call of Duty except Call of Duty. <laughs> so that was the first time I ever saw one of those, and I thought they were the coolest thing ever. They're cr- kind of silly looking, but I think they're really neat. But the other rifle I've always really wanted is an AK-104. And now that I'm going to have magazines eventually, I don't know when they're going to get here. I have no idea. It could be another month. It'll be enough time for me to forget and then get them in the mail and then be pleasantly surprised. So that's always fun. <laughs> so I, I, I'm going to get these magazines and I, I've wanted one in AK-104 platform. But my problem is, is the, the ones that I really want are the Bulgarian patterned ones, the Arsenals. The stamped side folding Bulgarian rifles, and they just don't, they're, they're kind of they're a little too expensive. They go from anywhere to 25 to four grand, and it's just 20, 2,500, not 25,000. It's not a transferable. It's they go from 2,500 to four grand, and they're just very expensive. And then the other private press stuck at the bolt. Yeah. And then the other option is a Palmetto State Armory 104, which is a 104 clone. It's not a true 104 like Kevin's 103. It yes. has, it doesn't have the updated bolt stem, trunnion, and, uh, or front and rear trunnion. It, it's, but it's like, um, Kalashnikov. AK 104. Yeah, right. We have AK 104 at home. At home. <laughs> But the uh, but Kalashnikov USA actually just released a AK-104 SBR or short-barreled rifle and an AK-104 pistol, and both of which are AK-100 platform and true. They have the true internals for the AK-100, so they have the updated bolt and bolt carrier and trunnion. Zzz, plural. Excuse me. So. That makes me kind of interesting. They're both around the same price, but it seems what I what I've seen so far is that the Kalashnikov USA stuff has been of higher quality than Palmetto State Armory. Now, with that being said, I've seen the AK the PSA AK 104s doing relatively well. So at this point, it's whatever's available first, and whenever I decide to sell and or trade a rifle or gun or handgun or whatever. It's it's going to be what's available first, realistically. The difference between the two, the biggest one for me, is one is a 4.5 uh, diameter rear trunnion for the pen, for the folding stock, and then the Palmetto State Armory is a... Or, I'm sorry, the Palmetto State Armory is the 4.5 as opposed to the 5 point whatever. And the, the difference there is that one's a Russian pattern and one's a Bulgarian pattern. It's just when you're buying stocks for them, that's... What you got to read into, because there's two patterns. So, yeah, I uh, I have magazines for a gun that I don't own, <laughs> which apparently is how I buy guns. And that's my ammunition for the magazines for the gun that he doesn't own. Actually, yeah, that, that is usually how that goes. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's only one brand of ammunition you can buy that is, uh, well, you'll get my seal of approval. Yeah, so... So yeah, that's uh, that's the really long-winded story <laughs> on our sixteenth take. <laughs> Times two. So, what is the last thing, Kevin? Well, as you know, Bryce and our viewers may not know, but the listeners definitely do. <laughs> Commonly referred to as Banana Max, the AK forty-seven has. Uh huh. So, I thought it'd be funny and interesting when the help of a good friend, uh, I believe it was you, Bryce, for my recent birthday. We won't say dates because... Listen here, buddy. I'm married now, so it's actually from both of us. (laughs) Oh, God. From the compound that you live in. From Bryce and his wife. (laughs) Anyway, from Bryce and his wife, they... They gave me this gift card to Palmetto State Armory. I went on there and I found the perfect banana mag, shaped like a banana, colored like a banana, and instead of the Chiquita on the side, it has the Palmetto sticker on the side. So I can lay down my Chiquitas as much as I want. Meme mags are some of my favorite thing in the world, things in the world. 
I have a couple of them. My my family gives me or family and friends and my wife all get me ridiculous magazines because I think they're hilarious and I love well, them. I don't actually use them though. Riddle me this. Bananas cost 49 cents a pound. Tool arounds cost 49 cents a round. Coincidence? Whoa. I think not. Whoa! We've uncovered the deep, dark secrets of the AK manufacturing world. Banana bat. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Just call me Donkey Kong and I'm going to sling my bananas. Oh, man. That's actually that's pretty fun. I like that. So... That's cool. Meme mags are fun, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, did you want to touch on the uh, new Hollow Sun EPS? So there's a new there's a new closed emitter optic that has thrown its hat into the ring. Hollow Sun had one before. It was the four oh nine five oh nine. This one actually will fit my three sixty five XL, which I think is neato. So it's an it's an RMSC pattern, which is basically the, the the size and footprint they mill onto your slide, so you can fit a red dot on. Yeah. And the the most common footprint for subcompact and and micro guns is RMSC. And Palmetto Stein Armor. Oh, nope. <laughs> I got them on the brain. Hollow Sun well, just released a the EPS carry sight, which uses the same footprint, but it's an enclosed emitter, which is good for environmentals and yes. I, if you don't like your dot getting fogged up and if, it's if, if you live in the swamp ass lands of florida and you don't want the fog <laughs> on your dot early in the morning you know what i'm talking about florida. right yep, so yep you walk outside and you get hit with a pin in the face from the humidity oh god it's like you're breathing water oh yeah try try to shoot somebody with a foggy glass you'll end up hitting someone across the street Getting out of the vehicle with AC into the humidity, it's like, boom, oh, fuck. It's like walking <laughs> into, into a Turkish sauna with a towel on. Right, right, over your head. I tried. I tried. Well, you know, no one needs to see that. People that will listen to this later on, I tried. I tried. And we're really sorry to all those, all those nuns. Nuns? They were, for some reason, they're nuns in this story. Ooh, you're trying to set me up, and I'm not taking the bait. I'm so not it's, taking that bait. The, the benefits, I, 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 really, I, I think that enclosed emitters are the future. I, I think that's where we're going. I think they're more resilient. Pew, 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 Does a concealed sure. carrier need an enclosed emitter optic? Probably yes. not. Yes. No, not really. Yes. You don't need one. It's $100 more than a typical dot. Yeah, we're we're talking about actual necessity. We're not talking about. I mean, it, it's like I feel it, the, ne the necessity is is there. I, I okay, well, there. I I don't think for the vast majority of people, an enclo or a, an enclosed optic is going to be that much more beneficial than an open emitter because for concealed carry, I'm not talking about duty. I'm not talking about military application. I'm talking about your shirt is covering your gun. Yep. It's not in an exposed holster. Even then, by the way, a lot of duty holsters have hoods for RDS setups. So, well, I, I like them. I, again, I think they're the future. And I think there are benefits to be had, especially yeah. if you find yourself rolling on the ground in the mud. <laughs> it won't clog up your emitter. So that's how, neat. How about this? If given the option between the closing emitter that's coming out, or the, the red dots are on the market already. Would you tell a new person to buy the closed emitter? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would. All right, all right then. I will. Eventually. But I also, I also tell people to buy better things than they probably need because if you're gonna do it, do it right, right? Yeah, you tell people to buy AKs that turn out to be dumpster fires. Low blow, man. Low blow. <laughs> Low blow. You know, don't have him set you up on a blind date because you'll think it's a 10 out of 10. It'll end up being a 1 out of 1. <laughs> Wait. Math is failing. Nate. Yep, that was... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll leave it be. <laughs> Just divide by zero. It's okay. Divide by zero. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, would, I would recommend you get an enclosed emitter, but if you have an open emitter, don't get rid of, rid of it. It's not that big a deal. Okay. Unless... I, I'll give you that. Unless you are really, really worried about it. 
sure, why not? <laughs> so, but. all right. So to sum this up, if you don't have one, get a better one. It's only a hundred dollars more currently, roughly. If you already have one, leave it be. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of like changing generations of Glocks. If you have a Gen 4 and the Gen oh. 5 comes out, leave it. Oh, if you God. have a Gen 5 when the Gen 6 comes out, you're fine. If you, if you have one that doesn't have the finger grooves, you're okay. It's the next okay. One, the finger grooves do nothing. And if you <laughs> they have come the and go. Grooves, it doesn't matter. If you have the finger grooves, good for you. Right. Do I, do if I they don't work for you, dremel them off. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, wait. I do have finger grooves. Yay. But... All right, Kevin. Well, I think that's a good organic place to cap this. <laughs> organic. Oh, Lord, like the bananas in my AK. Whoa, we, we, we brought it back to the AK. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back with another normal episode, full episode. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, whatever the satellite comes back around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Bye.